everyone, I'm Rebecca from The Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today with another dye video. Today we're going to be doing some ice dyed fiber to spin for Tour de Fleece. So I have 8 ounces of Superwash Merino from Echo View Fiber Mill, currently soaking in a vinegar solution, uh, just to get it damp before we put the ice on. And then I have another 8 ounces that I will add at the end if there's extra dye, which there probably will be, usually. I don't really measure for ice dyeing. So after the first eight ounces is done, the other eight ounces will soak up the leftover dye. Um, we will be working with powder, so I am going to be wearing a respirator mask. But um, since most of this is going to be waiting for the ice to melt, I'm obviously not gonna leave it in time lapse overnight watching it, but I will try to take pictures regularly. And then after everything is melted, we will heat set it and then do the other eight ounces if there's no dye left, <laughs> then I will pick a different color and we will dye it with that. Because um, I do want to have about a pound dyed to get start getting ready for Tour de Fleece. So that is our project today. Um, I'm going to go get set up in the kitchen and I'll be right back. All right, before I switch to time lapse, I just wanted to say the three colors of dye I'm trying out. So we're going to do Jacquard Gunmetal, Dharma Spearmint Breeze, and Dharma Fluorescent Lemon. I have no idea if these three will work together the way I see it in my head, and also the fact that it's ice dyeing, which means I can't really predict what it's going to do, but I'm gonna do my best. All right, so we're at the half hour mark. Um, there's still quite a bit of dye that still looks like powder and I did add some water underneath so I'm not sure if it's just that the wool hasn't absorbed everything or what but hopefully it'll do something and if not I'll just take a spoon or something and squish the wool down so that it absorbs the water but it is you know melting slowly <laughs> it's not quite as warm in here as I would like in order to get this to melt faster but I did want to do it indoors so I had a little bit more control over it so I'm gonna check back on this in probably another hour. All right, last check-in before I leave this overnight. Most of the ice is melted and then tomorrow I will heat set in the morning. So there's still some green left in the pot, mainly from the food coloring I added because it really wasn't enough color on the wool. So I'm going to add the other eight ounces and then we're just gonna add drops of food coloring. Um, just like the last batch, this batch of wool has been soaking in a vinegar solution. So hopefully the colors will take really fast. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. So that finishes up today's dye day. Uh, this is batch one. This is the one that was ice dyed. I will say that ice dyeing superwash wool works better when the superwash wool is completely soaked before I do all of that because the water from the ice just really didn't soak in. So I had to keep, like after the ice all melted, I sprayed it with a spray bottle, but even that didn't really work. I didn't get the water to soak in until I was heating it up. And by that point, that means most of the dye struck way later. It wasn't really like a cool bath type of situation. Now beyond that, I did add a lot of food coloring as well to add more color. It still has quite a lot of white in it, that's okay. I do really like this type 
of colors together. It's really fun. And then with the leftover uh, dye in the water, there was a little bit of green left in the water. And then I put this in and I added more food coloring. But because of the way I put this wool in, I managed to do a gradient. So it goes from like brown to orange to yellow to blue to like a blackish tone. And then with a green undertone all for all of it. So I really like this one a lot. I'm gonna spin it gradient style and then um, do that end plying thing to get the three ply. So these are both eight ounces. They'll be really fun to spin during Tour de Fleece and I'm very excited. <laughs> they do sort of go together. They're similar colors. So I am looking forward to after spinning them, comparing the two yarns. And I will definitely show you that after they are both spun. So, like I said, that is it for this dye day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.